The cooking class is held at Jordan Valley Community Health Center. We are in the WIC classroom one that starts at 4 p.m. and goes through about 5.30 p.m. That way we have plenty of time to talk about our um, healthy cooking on a budget topic. And then we'll also go through our different recipes and give everyone plenty of time to have samples. With cooking, a lot of times they will say, you know, to brown things or... Um, saute things in oil. A lot of times you can substitute that even with water or cooking spray which will have much fewer calories involved there so that's one thing you can make things a little bit healthier. Um, sometimes you have to be careful with your sauces like a lot of times barbecue sauces has a lot of sugar a lot of sodium so sometimes you can even get mixes that are you know salt free and make your own at home um, especially if you have like high blood pressure, that type of thing where you have to really be watching out for your salt and sodium, that might be a healthier option. I use the whole wheat flour for just about anything that you can use regular flour. What I usually do is I'll put half and half. So it call, if it calls for all-purpose flour, um, for instance, I a lot of times will make homemade pizza. It calls for three cups of flour. So I'll use a cup and a half of all-purpose flour, and then I'll use a cup and a half of whole wheat flour. Um, the whole wheat flour just adds a lot of fiber, and it has a little bit of natural occurring fat and vitamins and minerals. Um, they can add back, when you see the enriched bleached flour, they can add back the vitamins and minerals to the flour, but they can't add back the fiber or the fat that naturally occurs in it. So that's why I like to go with your whole grain because you'll have a little bit more fiber, a little bit more nutrients in there than you would with your um, bleached white flour. Um, for one, you can't see as much of a difference. Sometimes people, if it looks brown, then they don't even want to try it. So I go with that so it looks more like you would if you just use all-purpose flour. Um, that's why I do the half and half. If you do full whole wheat flour, it has a little bit grittier of a taste and it might turn out a little bit drier. So. Applesauce can be used in place of pretty much any fat that is asked, called for in a recipe. So if they call for butter or oil or Crisco, you can use applesauce in place of any of those. Um, the only, one warning I will give with applesauce is it'll turn out, if you're going for like maybe a brownie, like a fudgy type consistency, you might want to use half the oil, half applesauce, because it'll turn out a little more cake-like. If you're making a cake, then it's perfectly fine to use it, you know, um, cup for cup. Um, these little cups are really handy because they're about exactly a half cup. So if, say, it calls for a cup, then you just pop two of these in there and you're good. Canola oil, I consider a good oil for um, both cooking and baking. Um, your olive oil is going to have the best um, fatty acid profile, so it's going to be the most healthy oil that you can eat. Um, but some people think it has a little bit of an odd taste, and in baking sometimes it tastes a little funky. So canola oil is about the next best that you can do where it doesn't have a taste that you can really tell. Um, and it has a lot of those um, monounsaturated fatty acids, which are considered the most healthy, and then it has several polyunsaturated fatty acids. Um, and very few of the saturated, which is what we consider to be the least healthy. And cooking a lot of times, or when they tell you to saute things, there's several things that you can use instead. Sometimes even water will work as long as you're, you know, stirring it really actively. You can just keep adding in a few drops so that your pan doesn't get too dry. Um, or you can use cooking spray. Cooking spray is a really easy alternative that gives it um, kind of that oily type slipperiness for it to cook in, but at the same time you're not getting the calories along with it. So.